Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this problem on your own. Alright, so let's read this problem together and we'll take it piece by piece. It says the graph of an inequality is shown below. So you can see here that we've got this line. I notice that it's a solid line and not dashed. And that tells me right away that my inequality is going to involve either less than and equal to or greater than or equal to because we can include points on this line. And then I also notice uh, that they're shading above the line. Right? So notice the way they shade these lines are 90 degrees to the original line, like this whole region right here. They could color this region in. Um, and we could, we could also draw vertical lines. But usually, like we can draw lines like this to shade above it. But notice that we shade this way because it, it usually ends up being pretty helpful to find the solution set, as you'll see in this problem. So keep that in mind. We're shading here above the line, and the reason we're shading at 90 degrees to the line, these right angles here, is because that will help us find the answer. They want us to write the inequality for this graph. So again, we, we know that um, it's going to involve less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So here I can say why the outputs are always greater than or equal to the line, because uh, y could be a point on this line or any point above it, so it's greater than or equal to. And then I just find the expression for the line itself. I look at the y-intercept. I notice that we were given that. It's the point 0, negative 3. So that tells me that the y-intercept is negative 3. And then our slope. Let's look at that. So our slope, we go up 4 times. So delta y is positive 4. Delta y equals plus 4. And then delta x, well, that's going over twice. So that, and it's in, in the positive direction, so that's positive 2. And slope is the ratio of delta y to delta x. So slope is 4 over 2, or 2. So that gives us everything we need to get this equation written out. Because if you remember, let me just clear some of this off. We could write it um, as mx, or slope, times x. So 1 over 2, right? Oh, excuse me. 4 over 2 is not 1 over 2, it's 2 over 1 or 2, right? Up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 2, so it's 4 over 2, slope is 2, and then plus, plus b, plus b, and b is negative 3, so I just write minus 3. So the equation is y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 3. Then on the same set of axes, they want us to graph this inequality, x plus 2y is less than 4. So notice right away we have a less than, not less than or equal to. So somewhere in this graph we're going to have a dashed line. And this time we'll use, let's say, green to graph everything. So first of all, and this is in standard form, where x and y are on the same side. I like to isolate y. It's just a little bit easier for me to work with. So I subtract x on both sides. That gives me 2y is less than 4 minus x. Then I divide both sides by 2. So y is less than, well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And negative x divided by 2, you can think of it as negative 1 half x. And this gives me something that I think is easier to work with because here, this time, our b value, our intercept, is positive 2. So that's up here. And our slope is negative 1 half. So m is negative 1 half. So the slope is negative 1 half. So that means you can think of it as going down by 1 half and up 1 to here and then down by a half and then up one, but I feel like it's easier to go down by one and up two, which is the same ratio, one over two or a half over one. So these points right here, right down one over two, form this, um, form the line that helps us represent this inequality. So this time, uh, I'm gonna connect here with a dashed line because y is less than, not less than or equal to. So I just draw a dashed line here and I extend it with arrows on the end, and then y is less than that line, so I shade below it. And again, I'm going to use that right angle, and you can see that this checkered pattern starts to form with the shaded regions, which is why we shade at 90 degree angles, because anywhere you see this checkered pattern, that represents um, all the points that work for both inequalities. So to summarize what I mean, here in this region, it only works for the green inequality and not the other one, but here in the checkered region it works for both, and here up in this black shaded region it only works for the purple inequality. So y is less than 2 minus 
one half x. That represents the green inequality. Now they want us to know um, if the point two one. Oscar thinks the point two one is in the solution set for both. So let's take a look at that. Where is the point two one? So one two up one. That's this point right here. So the answer is no. It's not in both. And you could tell it's not in the dashed line because we can't include points on the dashed line. If that dashed line was solid, if the green line was solid, then this point would work. It does work on the purple line, but again, it has to work for both here. Now to show, like they want us to explain your reasoning, you could say what I just said, but you have to really also supplement that uh, with some calculations. So the green inequality is where this point doesn't work. So you can, I'll write it in yellow down here. Y is less, let me write in green, that's confusing. So here's how you can test it out. So here's how you can test it out. Uh, y is less than 2 minus 1 half x. Let's try plugging in this point, 2 comma 1. When we try to plug this point in, right, remember that x rep is represented by the number 2 and y is represented by 1. So y should be less than 2 minus 1 half of, of 2, or x, right? And if you plug in y, y is less than 2 minus half times 2 is 1. And what we get is a statement that says 1 is less than 1. But that's not true. Right? So this shows us, you could write, this is not true. And you could write that this shows us the point does not work for this inequality. It does work for the other one. You could plug into the other one and see that it does uh, give you a true statement. But it doesn't for the green one, so it doesn't work. Thanks.